Anna Ban and Ruben. What else would what it else? be? Let's go. Ruben, open it up with Goblin Barrel, Anna Ban. Mm, coming with minions. I'm pumped. So, Log Bait. This could be the new Log Bait. I don't think he has Princess. I think he has Rocket. I think that's what he's using here. And I can't. Oh, please, Rocket the Tower. There's a, there's a new deck that is used. Um. A new log bait deck, and it's the same as the old deck. So he doesn't have rockets. So he is the dark goblin version, which is so bad against Sparky. He did not. Wow, this is bad. And if it might. Oh, but Inferno Tower for Bomb Tower. So this is fascinating. Yeah. Goblin Giant Sparky in for Anaban. Mini Pekka. Free pancakes. Left hand side gets one shot. Gets two shots. Throw some syrup on that son. Thirteen thirty eight early on. Anaban with a big lead to open things up. First minute away and takes a huge chunk here. Inferno Tower, definitely gonna be helpful for Ruben, but after that big chunk, gonna be fighting from behind, and one thing you don't wanna do dip with a bait deck is play from behind. Yeah, I think Queso maybe should have tuned in on the stream and heard me tell him to uh, counter Sparky there, but uh, <laughs> I guess uh, <laughs> I guess they had other pledges of mine. He's definitely running a deck to try to counter, uh, to counter Balloon, but he could have ran something to counter both. And a raged up I mini P.E.K.K.A. Not able to get past and easily picked up by Ruben. But now Ruben, with the Dark Goblin on the board, not entirely behind, decides to pressure this time. Ruben has his good cycle now. This could be a... Oh, a misstep. Wow. Barrel oh, in for up. Ruben on the right-hand side and nothing to counter it for Anaban, so just has to eat that damage. And just like that, the Spaniard back in the lead, 819 right-hand side as we go into Double Elixir. Yeah, um, Ruben's playing this really well. Anaban does not have the best counters for bait cards. So, even without Rocket, the Inferno Tower is what makes the big difference here. Especially the quick cycle. He's going to be able to cycle so fast, but up so much pressure. He's not going to be able to kill the Skeleton Barrel plus Goblin Barrels every single time. So, R Ruben's just going to continue this pressure, continue to drop these bait cards, his Princess Dark Goblins, keep everything far away. And is not really going to be able to do anything to break through with everything he's playing and spacing everything out so perfectly. Two princesses down. Skeleton Barrel going the opposite direction. Now Sparky into that weak hand side tower. 522 on the right hand side. And now Princess on the tower on the left hand side as well. And a bit of splash damage there from the long shot on the right hand lane. 382. This is the big time push. Do we see a rage come in here from Anaban? Yes, we do. This one could change everything. Can that Sparky get away from the Skeletons? And a nice defensive Goblin Barrel. Does it keep the Sparky off tower? No, Sparky splashes, 536, here we go. We're in sudden death overtime. This one is absolutely wild. I think he's perfectly fine. Letting that hit was okay. It was better to let it hit than to continue to drop Elixir because he ended up going up an Elixir from letting that Sparky hit, knowing that it wouldn't take his tower and he would still be in a good position and that it doesn't have big spells. Keeping that elixir from not defending that Sparky is probably going to win in the game on this push. This push or the next push will be it for Ruben, I think. Goblin Barrel in, Snowball to help, and that's going to be it. Ruben takes game number one. In